Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a look at Salient OS, a very beautiful Arch-based distribution with the XFCE desktop environment. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Plus, you can follow me on my socials below, and you can become a patron over on Patreon. That link is below as well. I would also like to thank Mislav Krileza, who is my first patron on Patreon. He is making this video possible. Hopefully, I did not mess his name up. So, when you download Salient OS and put it on a USB or throw it into a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. There is no welcome screen, but what we're going to do real quick is when you go look up Salient OS, it's going to be salientos.github.io, and this is where you'll come. And then you'll just click on this button right here, and it takes you over to SourceForge so you can download the operating system. Now, it basically states here, Salient OS is an Arch-based rolling release distribution aimed at multimedia and gaming enthusiasts. It comes pre-configured with various applications out of the box to aid you in getting started quickly without having to download these applications yourself. And the features, it says Arch Base, BIOS or UEFI, rolling release. It does have AUR support if needed. It's got PayMac and Yay included. You can get it in the XFCE or the KDE Plasma desktop. It's got the Calamaries installer. It's optimized for gamers, game mode, DXVK, etc. Optimized for multimedia, real-time audio configuration, cups, printer support, quick menu access, Lutris and Steam included, system limits optimized. And that's the information you can get on SourceForge. Now let's close out and go back to the desktop. And when you get to the desktop, here's what you're met with. You do have a top panel up here, and then you do have a dock down here. Up on the top panel, of course, you got the logout or power button, time, date. You've got your task manager. You've got a widget right there for your task manager, which will show you CPU usage, processes, and then the amount of memory that you are using. At present, we are using 964 megabytes of the two gigabytes I have issued to the system. So at rest, that's not too bad. It's under one gig. Let's close. You have your internet. You have weather that you can set up right here. And then, of course, you have your audio volume right there. Down here, you've got your dock. You've got file manager. Let's go ahead and check that out. This does look to be Thunar file manager. And it is 4.16.8. It's just a fast, easy, lightweight file manager. You got your usual suspects over here, computer, live user, desktop, trash, file system. And then of course, your main folders right here. And then you've got your menu bar here that you can make adjustments or make changes as you see fit. So let's close out of Thunar. I wanna go ahead and open up the terminal and see if it does come with HTOP. And it does. And in HTOP, it's real close to what it was stating a while ago, 846 megabytes of 1.92 gigs, which is lightweight. Of the two CPUs, we're using about 5% on one and about 23% on the other. If you watch any of my videos, you know when I do these overviews of operating systems that I always do it on low spec virtual machines. That way, when you're watching this, if you've got an older system, you know that you'll be able to throw this operating system on it and you'll be able to get good productivity. Now we will check out settings. And in your settings here, you've got a plethora of different things that you can do and adjust. You've got appearance. And here you can go with different styles. Right now we're on the Koger Dark. You've got light. You've got Koger Manjaro, Koger Manjaro Dark. There are many different ways you can customize this for your preference. And then icons. Right now we're running the Papyrus Dark. You could switch over to the Papyrus Light if you wanted to. Or just the Papyrus. And of course those will change as you make the changes. If you look in the top right corner, you can see them change right up there on the panel. So we'll go to fonts. On the fonts, you can adjust your DPI setting, or you can change the fonts that you use completely in the operating system. The default font is Deja Vu Sans. If you want to change that font, you just click on it. You pick the font that you would like, and then adjust the size over here. And once you do that, it will go completely across your operating system and change everything. And then settings. Show images on buttons, show images in menus. You can actually do window scaling. If you wanted to make that bigger, you could. I won't do it at this time, but that's something that if you do decide to download this operating system and give it a spin, that you can play around with and make different adjustments to your liking. So we will close out of appearance. 
you have clipboard manager settings. You've got desktop, file manager settings, Cavanta manager, window manager, screensaver, panel profiles, panel notifications, window manager tweaks. Let's check that out. Cycling, you can change the way your windows cycle, what you focus on, your accessibility, workspaces, placement, and compositor. And then XFCE terminal settings, advanced network configuration, Bluetooth, color profiles. If you want to change the color profile on your monitor, you can. Because I'm in a virtual box, we won't get too much into that. Like I said, if you give this a spin and give it a test run, you'll be able to mess around with that and change things as needed. Mouse and touchpad, power management, pulse audio control, removable drives, accessibility, settings editor, default applications. If you have a default application you want to change, let's say you download Chromium as opposed to Firefox, you come over here, you would go other, set that to Chromium. That way, if you get an email or something that has a link in it and you click on that link and it opens it up, it'll automatically default to the browser you choose it to go to. Same thing with Mail Reader. Depending on what kind of mail client you download, you can come in here, make that your default. Utilities, default file manager. If you don't like Thunar and you want to download a different file manager, what you do is just come in here and change that as well. You can also change your terminal emulator right here. Others. And then here's different applications that you can adjust or make changes to. Login window. You can come over here and change the appearance of your login window, what users you want to show, what users you require to manually log in, or you can hide the user list and just have yourself, and then the settings of that window. So that covers an overview of the settings. Let's close that. Now, it mentioned a while ago that it does have Lutris. Lutris and Steam are both down here on your dock. If you click on Lutris, Lutris will open up and show you your library of games, if you have any, recent, your favorites, the sources that you're getting your games from, whether it be Lutris, GOG, Humble Bundle, or Steam. That's the beauty of Lutris when you have it installed. If you do have Steam games on your system, it will automatically import them into the Lutris library. That way you can access all your games from one central location. And then, of course, your runners, you would have the Linux system, the Steam system, and the Wine if you're trying to run Windows games inside the Linux operating system. So we will close out of that. And I will not open Steam because I'm pretty sure all of you are familiar with Steam. Up on the top panel, you've got Show Desktop. You've got the terminal we've already looked at, and you've got the file managers. Let's go ahead and check out Salient Apps. Under Accessories, you've got your Application Finder, your Catfish File Search, Clipboard Managers, your Disks, Cavanta Manager, Piper, Screenshot, Sensor Viewer, Task Manager, Thunar, Vim, and Wine Tricks. That's a workaround problems and install Wine. Games, you've got Game Hub, Lutris, Steam. Let's look at Game Hub. I'm not familiar with it. So Game Hub is just another area here where you would have install Steam, GOG, Humble Bundle, or install itch.io. So that's just a little hub for all the games that you would have installed and what application would be running them. Internet, you've got Firefox. Multimedia, you've got Pulse Audio Control, VLC Media Player. Office, you've got Dictionary, Settings, Login Window, Manage Printing, Print Settings, Sensor Viewer. You can click on that. You can set up the sensor viewer to keep track of sensors that you might have installed on your desktop computer or on your laptop. And then on desktop, you've got home, file system, install system, and let's right click. You can create launchers, desktop settings. Let's look at that. Here are the wallpapers that come with Salient OS, and they have some pretty wallpapers, guys. Let's just find one out of the blue here. Let's go with that one. That is a beautiful wallpaper. Tell me what you think of Salient OS below in the comments. And by the way, I listen to your comments. If you notice today, I have gotten rid of the overlay based on a comment from a viewer. Just got rid of it, and we're just going with a watermark down here in the lower right corner. Plus, I'm slowing down a little bit. I had a comment from a viewer who stated that he thought I was running through these reviews like somebody was chasing me. So I've slowed it down a little bit. Tell me what you think about that in the comments below. Before you guys go today, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, the links are below. And I'd also like to say thank you again for my very first patron, Mislav Kraleza. It's from support from people like him that are going to keep this channel growing and keep this channel putting out good content. Thank you guys for watching my video today. And I will see you in the next video.